What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Joe Sabin and today I'm heading out to a cave. I'm gonna go spend the night there. So uh, just heading out to Turtle Rock where I did the last video but this time I'm actually gonna go and spend the night out there. It's late afternoon so I already know where I want to sleep. Uh, set up for the night. Enjoy a nice peaceful night uh, out under the stars and then uh, explore the other caves tomorrow. So Start. I'm going to leave the car here, lock up, and head up the trail. Uh, the sun's setting behind the range behind us. So, hopefully, make it to the top before it goes completely dark. But, uh, so that's fortunate that I didn't need to climb in the dark. I'm not sure which way I'm going to end up going. I'm going to walk around the back or come up the front. I think we'll just see how it goes. In the field. You see the vegetation just really opens up here. But um, it's almost dark. We're going just there, on top of the peak. So, Alright, that's the base of the cliff we've got to go up. Um, I'll see how easy it is to free climb. My only issue is the 25 odd kilo backpack that I'm wearing. Otherwise I'll have to run the rope. Ah, we'll see how we go. Alright, here we are up the edge. You can't see it's just over there. But um, we're into the start of the caves. Um, I didn't I didn't film the climbing up because uh, it was a double-handed effort, <laughs> super sketchy. This bag weighs a freaking lot and uh, it was hard to pull myself up. But we're here now and we're going to go find our campsite. System. Gotta get my bag and try and find my way to sleep. Alrighty, folks, we've made it to our, our cave, our camp. Uh, ground's pretty flat. I'm sweaty as and covered in dirt because I had to crawl through those caves, but we're here. We made it. Wouldn't want to be any later. You won't be able to see on camera, but I think just can. There's a slight bit of light left on the horizon. And now, this is our home. There's my bag. There's the cave entrance we came through from the network. Here's where I'm going to sleep on the dirt right here. Yippee! Alrighty, I've got my uh, stove lit, boiling some water, and this is what I'm eating. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Roast chicken and mashed potato. Anyway, let's stick this on there. <laughs> I've burned my legs there. This little thing's insane. A few minutes later, one or two, we've already got boiling water. We're just, I don't know, 10 twigs maybe. So let's pour this into these packets. Crack 
crack open my laptop. Figure this is as good as place any. Get some uh, writing inspiration as I'm writing a book. And dinner is ready. Hopefully, that will work. Mmm, yummy. How about the mashed potatoes? Delicious. Mmm, <laughs> that is good. Alright, it's the morning now. Just woken up. Woken up a bit late. Took forever to get to sleep last night because I was freaking. As soon as it went. As soon as I turned my light off, there's a hole over there behind me. And there's like six mice living in there. And they all came out and they were trying to steal all my cooking stuff. So I had to get up and take that. But um, yeah, it's nice now. I was good temperature wise the whole morning, uh, the whole night until we got to the very. Uh, Sunrise, early sunrise. That was a little bit chilly, but that's alright. But uh, now you can see in the light better the cave that I was sleeping in. And now you can get a better view of where I was sleeping. The ground is all the way down there somewhere. And we got this big cliff up above us. And then this is the cave we're sleeping in. A little cave up that way. This is my cave. This is my bed. And this is my window. Pretty good. Only problem is, if it did rain, I would have got wet. <laughs> the two bits kind of just butt together and it should join. And here's my uh, back door. That's where I came through last night. Came through the long tunnel system that way. And down there in the darkness. Always make sure you have a nourishing breakfast. It's the most important part of the day. Alrighty, got my uh kit all packed away, my sleeping stuff, cooking stuff, things like that. And I just packed a small backpack and got my rope, um, everything I need to abseil down to the cave and get myself back out again. Um, and I just trust myself to climb a bit better with this small backpack on rather than that massive one. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go find a cave. Alright, found a way up this little chute down here. Now we get the uh, nice view of Numbar Valley. Egg rock again. It's become a familiar part of my life now, that rock. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think the hole is just up here from memory. Okay, for the edge. That is not the hole. This is the hole. But I can actually see the bottom down there at the moment. I'm just realising that is a part of that. And I've already been down that, so I think I've already been in there. Hmm. So we've already been down that hole. Oh well, let's go find some different caves. seem to find any more holes in the ground leading to caves. Cool little lookout from here though. Almost all the way around.
Maybe it's caves over there. The cliff just there. I should be able to work my way along the edge here. Over to it. Let's go see. disappearing way down to this cave now. <laughs> fit through that gap. Well, it's down the edge of the cliff anyway, so we can't go out that way, but it does come out. All these caves pretty much have to run to somewhere as they're all water runoff caves, so they all lead out, but this is pretty cool. I was just able to walk into this one, kind of slide in I guess. back. Whew. That was a tight squeeze with that backpack. Gosh darn it, I'm testing out the uh, durability of my kit straight away. It's good. All right, let's finish packing all the stuff together and get off the edge. All right, just squeeze my way through there with the pack off, sliding it and a few thing of rope too. A tight fit, scratch myself up the wazoo, but um, yeah, went into the big chasm now. We're gonna go down that way and we'll find our way out.
Oh no. Stop. Stop. Oh. A bit sketchy but uh, I think I've learned the knot that goes around the carabiner to repel off it now. Once again I uh, didn't bring a normal belay device for some reason. I always know that I have to do a twin line repel at the end but it always slips my mind. But this knot works quite well. The rope's twisting around itself a little bit but it's a lot easier to lower myself down than last time I did it when I forgot the belay device. Oops, that on my bag. And we're down, safe and sound. Let's get out here. So I've upside down, I just walked around the base in the opposite direction as last time, just a little bit. And I found the other big cave opening. So we'll quickly check this out before we head off. Here before too. surfing, but it seems a bit windy, or Dylan has just moved house and has these sick new bike jumps like right next to his house, just like public dirt jumps, but they're right next to his house, so I'm gonna go ride those. We'll see we go. <laughs> Let's go!